Hey guys, Ryan here with Screen Heroes Podcast and the Heroes Podcast Network. I just got out of seeing Kong, uh, Skull Island. Uh, we aren't doing a full review of, of Kong, so I thought I'd do a quick quick review for you um, if you were thinking of going and seeing it. Um, I was disappointed by the movie. I was looking for something a little bit more uh, filling than what I got. And I felt like I was eating, I ate a bunch of popcorn and really I wanted like a full casserole and, and I didn't get it. Um, it felt to me like uh, it's set in Vietnam era. And so my comparison is if Tropic Thunder uh, was going after King Kong, then maybe that's what you would get with this movie, except less funny. Um, the characters were not believable for me. Uh, the only character that felt grounded was uh, John C. Riley's character. Um, you didn't relate to him. There wasn't really any development in him. Um, There's like 10 close-ups of Samuel L. Jackson's face, like slow pans, and it's really distracting. Um, if you're going to see a movie about a giant gorilla fighting, then that has to be done well, and that was done well. So if that's really all you want to see, then it's then you're probably going to enjoy it. Um, and, and those scenes do get me excited for the possibility of other future monster movies. Um, yeah, I mean, it was if I had to rate it out of ten, I would probably give it like a five, maybe. It was all right. If you just are really into monster movies, I think you'll like it. Um, there is an after credits scene, so make sure you stay after the credits, especially if you're a fan of, of um, monster movies and, and the other monster properties. Um, yeah, check us out on Screen Heroes Tuesday nights. Um, this should be coming out on Tuesday morning, so you should be able to watch us live at uh, um, 9 p.m. Central or 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central. Uh, on twitch.tv slash heroes podcast. So yeah, check us out and uh, yeah, go check out Skull Island this weekend if you're into that kind of thing.